Kind of amazing the number of people that don't read the owner's manual or something. Right now I'm in slave mode on my EFX 500 Fujifilm Speedlight. Hear that little beep? That's the beep of the remote going off. Now, this plash is uh, the EFX8, uh, the little turd muffin that came with your X-T2. <laughs> uh, right now it's actually in commander mode. You actually go into your flash sub menu, roll it over from uh, from a manual or from TTL and roll it over to commander mode. It does put out a little bit of light, but nothing that uh, really more than very, very minimally affects exposure. So you could use your EFX 500 uh, speed light remotely. Obviously, it's not TTL. You don't need two units. Um, you do need two units, and it is optical. And optical TTL does kind of suck, but I don't really care about that. That's why I have the Nissan, the, the Nissan, the uh, Nissan uh, i60A speed lights. So you can turn that beep off too. By the way, I just have the beep on so you could actually hear it. So you could use a little EF X8 speed light with your unit in slave mode. Uh, no big deal. It's actually tripping off of the uh, commander mode uh, flashes that are on the back here. You will need to roll over uh, your main dial from on to remote. You need to bring it to flash. Your screen will go from uh, green to red, by the way, when you're in slave mode. Um, go to flash. There we go. Group mode, normal is uh, for a normal trip. Uh, P is uh, for a pre-flash mode. You can also set a rear curtain sync or a front curtain sync in commander mode too. So you can actually do remote slave rear curtain sync. So right now I'm in normal mode. Obviously I'm going to have to, ch have to uh, set my uh, flash output. And yeah, right now it needs to be about 164th power. There we go. And that's that. So check the uh, user manual on your EFX 500 because it does work in slave mode. Um, extremely reliably, I would say, eh, about 95% reliability. Um, it's not what I would actually choose, to be honest with you, but if you only have one speed light and it's your EFX uh, 500, that's uh, what I'd use. Actually, technically, what I would use, especially for high speed sync. You can't do high speed sync remotely or, or otherwise, even if you had two of these speed lights, and I do have two of them. I have a 27 foot long Canon TTL cable that lets you do a full, uh, like you might do a portraiture, get your uh, speed light into an umbrella, do some high speed sync flash photography, which is very, very awesome. And uh, so that's it. Yes, I have a lot of people saying on various boards, like, no, no, you can't use the EFX 500 in slave mode. It's like, yes, you can, actually. Thank you for watching. This is another video tip and tutorial on the use of your Fujifilm X-T2. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. Um, oh, by the way, that new METS Mega Blitz flash came out with a high-speed sync capability. It's a total turd muffin. It costs nearly as much as the uh, Nissan i60A, and it's nowhere near made nowhere near as good. It has no radio or any sort of capabilities for remote use. If you just look at the back panel on the thing, I mean, it's it's like a oh man, it looks far worse than a the cheapest Chinese junk imaginable, you know for. You know, fifty dollars than the fifty dollars of the price of the Nissan. I, you're, you mean you're you're a knucklehead to even think. Well, yeah, but it's got high speed sync, and the Nissan does. Well, the Nissan will have high speed sync here within the month. I talked to the head honcho at the Nissan importer. I'm not going to give you his name. Only three days ago, and uh, he said it's coming. Been a very slight delay of a few weeks, but it is coming. So just grab your crotch and wait a couple weeks. All right. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, that's it. Okay, bye.